The sudden death of loved ones can highlight the importance to plan ahead for the worst. A local law firm is holding a series of seminars over this week offering advice to help people get their affairs in order. News 3's Eden Chuckle joins us from the law firm this morning with more. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Adam and Charlotte. So the estate of Prince has really been making headlines uh, since his death last month. And so I am joined by attorney John Haslam. Good morning. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Now, you guys have a free workshop, estate planning workshop coming up. Um, you know, as we've heard in the news, uh, Prince did not have a will. For those of us, you know, who probably aren't worth as much money as he, as he is, um, you know, what difficulties can, can come from not having a will? Well, the, the a lot of people, in fact most people, don't want to think about this because it, it, you have to come to grips with reality that we are all going to pass away so people don't do anything. Mm -hmm. They put it off because it's easy to put off. I'm sure Prince put it off because at 57 who was thinking that he was going to pass away? He wasn't. So as a result he didn't plan and now what's going to happen is all of his wealth, his music collections are going to end up in the hands of people he probably wasn't close to and maybe didn't know. We're hearing about siblings, we're mm -hmm. hearing about maybe a child uh, from years and years ago that he barely knew. He didn't take control of the situation and now things are going uh, in a direction he wouldn't have wanted, I'm presuming. So sure. that's the danger with not doing it is things now pass in another direction other than what you would want. And, and I think a lot of times, you know, a lot of us think, hey, if I'm not, you know, if I don't have X amount of money, why put together a will? You know, if I don't own as many things, why put together a will? Do you think everyone should consider this? Everybody should consider it, definitely. Even for people that have almost nothing, they should have powers of attorney, things like that, people to take care of them if they can't take care of themselves. When it comes to leaving assets, chances are we're all going to have something to pass. Why not leave it to the people we choose as opposed to what the state has decided, like in Prince's case, mm -hmm. who's getting that is going to be determined by Minnesota law, not by him. Sure. I don't know why someone wouldn't want to take control of their own situation. Now, my producer is telling us that we've got 30 seconds, okay. but what are the top do's as far as putting together a will? Okay, quickly, do it. Mm -hmm. Do it, please. Do something. Sure. Take control of the situation. Leave it to who you want. Prince did not do that. We all have the opportunity to do it. And lastly, once you've done it, don't set it aside. Mm -hmm. Update, update, update. Keep coming back mm -hmm. to it, please. And that's probably something that a lot of people forget to do. They probably think, I've put together a will. I'm done. I'm done for good. It's done all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your thank time. You. Coming up, we're, we're going to talk to Attorney John again at around 615. We're going to go over the don'ts. But for those of you guys who do want to attend this estate planning workshop, they have a free one tonight from 6 to 7. 30. Um, we're going to have details on our website at channel3000.com. Adam and Charlotte, back to you. All right, Eden Chuckle reporting live for us this morning. Thank you. 16 right now. Let's get a check on traffic this morning with Josh Tim. Hi, Josh. Good morning. So far, no major issues in the Madison area. Just a friendly reminder, though, wet conditions always bring up the potential for some hydroplaning with the water being on the roads making traction difficult for the tires. So that's definitely something to be aware of throughout the day as the rain continues. But other than that, things are looking good out there. The belt line is moving well in both directions with no slowdowns from end to end. Downtown Madison Road's not seen any issues at all. Volume really hasn't become a factor yet and no problems at all on the interstate in southern Wisconsin. With News 3 This Morning Traffic, I'm Josh Tim. Thank you, Josh. 617 now on this Tuesday morning. After uh, Prince's death, Minnesota state lawmakers have now introduced a bill to protect an artist's image even after he or she dies. It would prevent people from selling t-shirts, posters, and other items featuring images of the late music icon without consent. The legislation would give control of the artist's image to his or her heirs. Prince's will has yet to be found, if there even is one. A probate judge in Minnesota is currently debating how to divide his estate. The cause of his death, still unknown. Prince's death has highlighted the need to plan ahead for the worst. There's a local law firm that's holding a series of seminars this week offering free advice to anyone interested. News 3's Eden Checkle joins us this morning with a preview. Good morning, Eden. Hi, good morning, Adam and Charlotte. So earlier we went over the top do's in terms of putting together um, a will. Now we're going to go over the don'ts. I'm joined again by attorney John Haslam. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Okay, so 
What are the common mistakes that people make when putting something like this together? Well, people uh, don't do it. They're afraid to mm. do it. They don't want to confront this. And so they never take the steps necessary to even start. Another thing is people rely on their own Im immortality. Mm -hmm. The time to think about this is not when you turn 80 or when you turn 70 or when you retire. You should do that much earlier. You think about Prince dying at 57, James Gandolfini, 51, Heath Ledger, 28, wow. Jimi Hendrix, 27. They weren't planning on that. Sure. But they had nothing up to date in place. So they never started that process. They relied on the fact that I'm probably not going to pass away. And I know it's a total downer this early in the morning, but we mm -hmm. are going to pass away at some point. We mm -hmm. just don't know, know when. And I think another thing that I would caution people against is trying to do it yourself or cutting corners. An example I can give of that is the former Chief Justice of the United States, Warren Burger, passed away several years ago. He did his own will, mm -hmm. was very short, and as a result he left out all sorts of planning techniques that would have saved him hundreds of thousands in taxes. So cutting corners, doing it yourself is a big no-no in my opinion. Sure. And, you know, for people who don't know, explain the difference between a will and a trust. A will is a plan for where your things are going to go when you pass away. And it is administered by the probate court, which is public, which is why you can review the wills of all the celebrities that have passed away. Mm -hmm. Trusts are effective while you're alive and when you pass away. And they are private. They don't go through the court system upon death. Michael Jackson is a perfect example of that. He had a trust. People to this day don't know exactly what his plan said because he wanted that kept private. It's becoming a very popular way of planning, not because you need a lot of money, but because you want to protect your heirs and keep your affairs private after you've passed away. Interesting. And I think obviously the big takeaway here is that put together a will regardless of, you know, how much money you have. Yes. Take awesome. control of the situation. Well, thank you so much. We sure. appreciate your timing. You guys are offering a free uh, estate planning workshop uh, today from 6 to 7.30. We are going to have um, you know, a link on our website at channel3000.com for more information. And that's not going to be the only uh, free estate planning workshop you guys have. You have right. another one yeah, uh, this month. Yeah, Tuesday uh, tonight, Thursday night, and then Saturday morning. Awesome. So a lot of uh, workshops to attend. Thank you again for your time. My pleasure. Adam and Charlotte, I'm going to toss it back to you guys. All right. Eden Chuckle reporting for us this morning. Thanks so much.